We're gathered here together in the sight of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It is of sacred origin instituted by God in the time before man's fall, and it signifies to us the union that exists between Christ and his church. She has always given me the best advice, even if it's not the response I was hoping for. I am so honored to be standing beside her on one of the most special days of her life. And I've been pretty much been best friends since he moved, well, his family moved out to Peoria, Illinois about 10 years ago, back when we were in grade school. Some all those times that we spent together, which was pretty much every single day growing up, were some of the times that I would cherish more than any other time in my entire life. have this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in God's will in the holy union of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health? And putting all others aside, will you keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Emily, will you have this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in God's will in the holy union of marriage? Will you love him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and putting all others aside, will you keep yourself only for him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Emily, from the first time I saw you, I knew you were not just a girl to date, but the type of girl that you end up marrying. I vow to always be your best friend. I vow to always listen to your work nights, good or bad, and no matter how disgusting they may be. And most importantly, I vow to love you every day of our lives, no matter what is thrown our way. Today, I marry you without reservation, and it is in you that I have found my home. Today, on our wedding day, I make the most important vow with God's support. I vow to love you for you with my whole heart and spend every day of the rest of my life loving you. I'm yours forever and always. my love as a sign of my love that I have chose you that I have chose you above all else above all else with this ring with this ring I thee wed I thee wed as a sign of my love as a sign of my love that I have chose you that I have chose you above all else above all else with this ring with this ring I thee wed I thee wed I am now happy to present to you guests of this memorable moment, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Porter. more brother than a friend so I guess that makes you my new sister Emily. I love you guys so much choose the new couple
too, and I love you both dearly. So as you celebrate this happy time in your life, remember that the best days are yet to come. In the meantime, let us raise a glass to your marriage and to your health and happiness. Dan really is a true man. He's always there for you no matter what it is. One of my good buddies actually said this last weekend and I just had to put it in here. No matter what we are going to do, even though part of my language, if we're going to Ohio State versus Michigan game, Dan will always get done what he has to get done first no matter what it is. He has to mow his yard, he's gonna mow his yard first. He has someone to take care of, he's gonna take care of that person first no matter what it is. And that's really why I think Emily and Dan so good for each other. And so the only thing I wanted to ask here is we make the NM's wedding the best night of our lives. So if everyone can raise a glass and cheers with me to the best night of our lives. Yeah.